Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. What I'd like to talk to you guys about today is the Liberty Lifesaver water bottle and pump system. And I've lately been looking at water filtration systems for a woodland type environment, both for long term as well as for short term emergency use or short term use in say a week where I'm going to need more water than I'm willing to carry or even a couple, three days where I don't necessarily want to boil my water, but I want nice clean drinking water if I can get it. Or if I'm overseas and I'm looking for potable water or to create potable water without boiling it on the fly. And this Liberty system is a good system because it does several things for you. It's the only system on the market today that's got a built-in inline pump. And you can see it's under pressure right now a little bit. And to release that pressure, I just need to open this valve. You can see the water squirt right out of the top of it when I did that. And that accomplishes a lot of things for you. The first thing with this water bottle type filter is that you can just remove the bottom cap from the filter and you can fill it straight from the stream. Replace the cap over the cartridge. Pump the water through the filtration system and into the bottle. And then you can just open the bottle, turn the valve on the side to push the compressed air up and it will basically turn it into a drinking fountain. You can turn the thing up in your mouth and drink right out of it or you can drink out of it just like a drinking fountain if you choose to do that. And it works really well for that application, just quick and dirty and on the fly. If you've collected water from a groundwater resource. So I'll show you that right now. All right, so we have a groundwater resource here. It's not completely clear. It's a little bit cloudy. I can just dump my bottle into it just like this and fill it up, staying more toward the top to keep gritting things out of it. Close it back up, give it a few pumps to pressurize it, just like that. Open the lid, and as soon as I open the valve, water's gonna start coming out of it. I can either drink that until it quits running or shut the valve off. I can then store it and pump it again when I want another drink and it's going to pump that water through the filter. The next advantage that this has, having an inline pump, is that when you take the cap off, the inside of this rim is actually slightly threaded. And it doesn't fit the Pathfinder water bottle perfect, but you can screw it on there, stand that thing up, move this back a little bit. Stand that thing up, open the valve, and you can fill your water bottle directly from this filter by pumping it. Just like this. You've got a level line there so you can see how much liquid is left in the filter. And it'll run even if you're not pumping it because you have pressure in the chamber. You can see the level line dropping. And once you hear it quit running, you can just shut the valve off, take it off your bottle and you have clean drinking water in your bottle at that point. Now the last advantage to this system, and I've emptied it out for you for this demonstration is, it also comes with a scavenger hose. So if you were not close enough to a water source to be able to dip your bottle in it, you can throw that scavenger hose into the water and it's got an adjustable float on it to keep that thing at the surface 
or let it dangle down a little bit into the water depending on the depth of your water. And I'm just gonna throw it over the top of a branch out there. And it plugs into the side of that bottle. Now you have two choices here really because what this is gonna do is it's be gonna become a suction device. So as you pump it, it's going to fill I collapsed my hose there a little bit. It's going to fill this water bottle with water. Okay, you can see the water level coming up on there now. Now the other thing you could do with that scavenger hose attachment is you could put a water bottle directly on here like we did a minute ago. Again, these threads aren't perfect for this Pathfinder water bottle. You kind of have to really push it to get it on there. So the other thing that you can do now is you can open that valve and you can pump water straight out of the stream through the filter to fill up your water bottle. Okay. So you've got lots and lots of different ways that you can use this Lifesaver bottle system. From the scavenger hose to the bottle, the scavenger hose to your water bottle. You can dip it in a stream and fill up a water bottle with it or dip it in a stream and drink directly from this bottle if you choose to do that. And it will filter 5,000 liters, excuse me, 2,000 liters, which is about 500 gallons of water through this filter, which is replaceable. So it's a pretty good system. It comes with a bag for the scavenger hose. So you just roll that scavenger hose back up and you put it into a bag that it comes with. I have checked this in a Pathfinder water bottle and it all fits nice and neatly in a Pathfinder water bottle holder. Um, if you wanted to carry an extra water bottle holder, you can also put this, roll this hose right up and put it in the top of the water bottle holder as well or in the front pouch and this will fit inside there as well so it's a pretty good system we've probably still got pressure on it right now and eh, not quite but you can see how much pressure it puts in there with just a couple pumps pretty quick to get water out of there the advantage to this in my mind another advantage that this has in my mind compared to some of the other systems on the market is Instead of having to suck the water through to get a drink, you just pump the pressure up and it pushes the water out to you. And I think that's advantageous as well. Like I said, 2,000 liters or 500 gallons of water, you're not gonna wear this thing out for a long, long period of time. Well guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. And I appreciate you joining me out here today real quick for just a look at the Lifesaver water bottle. I think that, you know, one of the things that people are going to ask right off the bat about this Liberty bottle is, what's it cost? And it's not cheap. It's like $100. But at the same time, you have to look at what that $100 is getting you. That $100 is getting you 500 gallons of potable drinking water. So it's going to last a long period of time number one. Number two, it's going to be cost effective in the long run. And number three, you know, it comes down to it's going to take care of 99% of everything, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, all of those things that you may have to worry about, especially if this water is being taken because it's an emergency scenario and your water is no longer safe to drink without filtration of some sort. This is a quick emergency thing to have in a vehicle as a backup, in your home as a backup. Now I do have Liberty's basically five gallon jerry can that's set up on a filter system as well that is made for longer term, for overlanding, for camping, for longer term emergencies and families. And I'll be doing some reviews on that as well. It even comes with a shower attachment so you can heat the water up in the sun and actually take a shower with the thing if you want to. And we'll talk about that in a later video. But I think that this Liberty Lifesaver stuff is definitely worth a look uh, from a self-reliance or long-term standpoint, all the way down to just an everyday hiking in the woods, especially in unfamiliar territory with a bottle like this that I can use to quickly filter water into another bottle or drink straight from a source or this bottle. I think it's a win-win, and that's why I wanted to introduce it to you today. 
I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.